in Aleppo today, which obviously was a city very much of war. On the ground, the situation getting worse. Intensified shelling around Aleppo. With... The number of people fleeing the civil war in Syria has now passed four million. The United Nations has called the Syrian refugee crisis the worst humanitarian disaster in recent history. Any proper restoration depends on the return of its citizens and business owners. One thing that I think surprises many people about the conflict in Syria is the extent to which Syrian humanitarian organizations are really the leaders of change. They are delivering the majority of humanitarian relief and development inside Syria. Before the conflict started, Syria was a middle-income country, a relatively stable country. However, as a result of the conflict, people needed to start to come together and mobilize and support their own communities. So the, the vast majority of Syrian humanitarian workers are people like you and me. They are pharmacists, doctors, engineers, bricklayers, teachers, who have decided to continue to live there to survive the conflict and ultimately contribute to rebuilding Syria. Working in a humanitarian sector is different than being a pharmacist or being a teacher, and there are just some basic principles for working in the humanitarian space. Training can't take place in a classroom. It's just not feasible given the environment there. Local humanitarians in Syria are delivering support and assistance at great personal risk. Bringing large groups of people together in certain parts of Syria is actually just very dangerous. So we're working with the International Rescue Committee and Mercy Corps on this particular project. We call it the ISHA project, or the ISHA online learning program. And ISHA is investing in Syrian humanitarian action. With online learning and disaster ready, we're able to provide training to everyone in their native language when they can take it, as often as they need it. So a lot of these courses have been made available on their, on their smartphones for the first time ever, uh, because this is literally the only way that they have uh, the ability to access this type of information is via their phone. There are over 12,000 people registered for the ISHA online learning portal. Um, this far exceeded our expectations and our targets. Online training is, has proven to be extremely effective in, in reaching humanitarians in Syria. Looking forward, it's really important for us to continue to invest in these local humanitarians and in the organizations that they're running. They are providing life-saving assistance every day. Without them, the situation in Syria would be even more dire than it already is.